Before we get into the video, because I forgot to mention it at the beginning, we're doing a giveaway of the Padmate S30 bone conduction headphones. All you need to do is you need to leave a comment down below of when or how you think you would use these, and you need to follow Padmate on their official Instagram. That link will be in the description. Do both of those two things and you're automatically in the draw, and we'll be drawing that in four weeks' time. Scotty. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're looking at some bone conduction headphones. It sounds like witch talk to me. S30s by Padmate. Now I know bone conduction headphones are not new. They're not super revolutionary. There are quite a few out there. Don't get confused with the Bose sunglasses. They are actually micro speakers. That's not bone conduction. So don't really compare the two because it's apples to oranges. Something like this though, these are bone conduction sunglasses and I'll tell you right now compared to the S30s these are absolutely rubbish don't bother buying cheap ones honestly these things sound good for bone conduction I right, really super quickly let's look at what's in the box once you lift the lid up you're greeted by the headphones and as you can see there, there's a little box in the middle we'll just move that box for a second now the first thing is the headphones there's your on off button, that's your multi-function button. There's your USB-C charge port. And there is that nice bendy neck strap or neck band, whatever you want to call it. In the box, you've got a USB-C charging cable and a set of um, earplugs. Kind of defeats the purpose of these. This is if you are somewhere noisy and you still want to hear your music. This is where I would just take my Padmate Z1s. But it's nice they include them. And lastly, underneath the foam layer, you've got your quick guide and your tips on how to get the most out of your headphones. So now let's talk about sound quality and what you expect from bone conduction headphones. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. They do not sound as good as a set of earbuds. Where is it? There it is. This is their Z1s. The S30s do not compete, but they're not supposed to. It's supposed to be an alternative sound source to let you hear the world around you, and that's exactly what they do. If I had to describe the sound quality of these speakers, I would say they are mainly high and mids with very minimal bass. You can still definitely listen to music, and once you've listened to it for probably 10, 15 minutes, you do get used to it and you're not so like, oh, this doesn't sound that good. These are perfect for taking calls, perfect for listening to music when you're driving or on your electric skateboard or whatever you're doing, and they are IPX5 rated. And that's really good. You really want to have IPX5 for your headphones because it means you can wear them outside and weather like this in the pouring rain. This is the third take, by the way. I'm getting extra, extra wet. They have one very simple button on the left-hand side, and that is a multi-function button. You can use that button to turn them on and off, answer phone calls, skip tracks, go backwards, and also access your smart assistant. Now, you can't directly control the volume, but I guess theoretically you can by using the smart assistant and saying, hey Siri, turn the volume down. Now, these are super lightweight. They are very, very minimalistic, as you can see. And when you put them on, when I'm looking straight ahead, you can barely see them. If I turn my head there, there you can see them sitting right there. This is where the magic happens. Keeps your ear holes open to the world. At the very beginning, I've had these since December, and I really do actually like them. I wear them quite regularly, specifically when I'm out on my skateboards, when I'm driving in the car, or even I'm just around the house doing some cleaning and I'm listening to podcasts. And one of the best parts is I can still wear my helmet and my sunglasses, and these do not get in the way. The charging is via USB-C, and it can have up to eight hours of music and talk time. Of course, those times will differ depending on how loud you play them. But lastly, just the look. These things look and feel fantastic. Once you've had them on for a couple minutes, you forget they're there. Because when you pause the music, you can have a completely normal conversation and they simply connect to your phone by Bluetooth 5.0. So there is very minimal lag between the audio and if you're watching something on your phone. So you can still comfortably watch a movie or a TV show on your device. All right guys, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is a super quick video. The Padmate S30 bone conduction headphones are honestly a very nice set of headphones. Now these aren't gonna beat your Padmate Z1s or your AirPod Pros with sound quality, but what they are gonna do is they're gonna allow you to listen to your favorite music, podcasts, take calls, and still hear the world around you, and that's what I really like about them. As always, guys, the link will be in the description along with any relevant discount codes, so please click on that. It helps support the channel, and until the next video, skate safe, wear a helmet, and we'll see you next time. Shoo.